Yeah, let's talk turkey. Let's talk about smoking a turkey. A different way to do this. Who doesn't love smoked anything? Right. Now, if you're gonna smoke a turkey, I would highly recommend you probably don't go past the 10 to 12 pound range because you know there's temperature issues right. and fitting it in the smoker and, and so on and so forth. You wanna get that internal temperature up to about 165 degrees. You, want to be, you, don't, you don't want everybody to be sick. That's right. <laughs> but this can be one of the tastiest ways in the world to fix a turkey. Now, one of the first things you have to do is brine the turkey. Now, this is okay. a brine. This recipe is old, old, old. But it's very simple. I'm going to give you the basic ingredients to this. You're going to take per gallon of water, one cup of kosher salt, one cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of black pepper. I use the coarse ground one, so on and so forth. If you want to put just a little bit of soy, I'd say per gallon, a half a cup or so. That'll give it that nice salty taste. Also, we're going to take a little bit of liquid smoke seasoning, just maybe like a capful or less. You can use a little bit of thyme, a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Mix that in there because you always love that thyme taste when it comes to poultry. One other thing that we're going to do and put in this brown is some garlic powder. Let's put two tablespoons of that as well. Okay. Just a dash of Worcestershire. Okay. Now that makes a nice brine. What you're gonna do, we're gonna dump these in here in the gallon of water. Now what I try to do is try to find a pan that is high enough and tight enough to the bird where you don't have to use as much brine. Right. So if you can cover that in a gallon, that's great. If not, two use more. a gallon, two gallons, so on and so forth. Again, this is a 12 pound bird. I don't go much over that if I'm gonna smoke it. We're gonna start the brine. We're gonna put all the ingredients in here, okay. bring it to a simmer, then set it off and then set it in the refrigerator and let it cool. Then you set the bird in there, mix it all up, set it back in the refrigerator and let it go for 12 to 14, 16 hours, depending on how much flavor you want in it. So I'm gonna start with the gallon ingredients, bring it up to a simmer. And here's our cup of brown sugar, black pepper. Now I like my black pepper. Half a cup of soy, and a little bit of smoked flavor, some thyme, Okay, two tablespoons of garlic powder, just a dash of Worcestershire. So now we're just gonna bring this to a simmer and then cool it back down, drop our bird in there. So we're well on our way towards getting a first class bird. I'm excited, I'm, smoker. I can't wait to eat that. Last time I had smoked turkey, I shouldn't tell this story. You should tell, it was funny. I was with Kentucky Field and we're on the road mm -hmm. and you don't know where you're gonna get your snacks sometimes. Right. You just, you just, where you are. So I went into this gas station and they had a smoked turkey leg. Really? It was like in this machine keeping yeah. warm. I don't know how long it had been there. Three weeks. I grabbed that thing and pulled out and started eating it. I thought, man, this is good. What? I was sick for about a week and really? a half. Really? Oh, you remember that? Don't get your smoked turkey at a gas station. Okay. If you do, just look at the expiration date. On the turkey wing? On the turkey. The bowl? <laughs> the bowl. Just make sure. I don't know. There might be some really good turkey. Smoke turkey in gas station somewhere. I've never seen it in a gas station. That's all I got to say about that. So again, we're going to bring this to a simmer. You don't want to boil it. You just right. kind of get everything, the sugars and the salt, acquainted, okay. as my grandfather would say. All right. So later on, in the fridge, okay. bird goes to sleep for about 12, 14 hours. We get up tomorrow. We're going to put our cherry or apple. I haven't decided yet in the electric smoker. Now, mm -hmm. I like an electric smoker. We have both kinds. I have a big smoker that we can use for all kinds of things, but I'm, tomorrow we're gonna be busy. We got yeah. a lot of stuff going on. I like to be able to digitally dial my number and my time in. Mm -hmm. And you, there's a, also a, I can insert a probe into that breast meat. So when it's getting around 165, I need to know. Now here's something I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little heads up on too. When we're done, we're gonna wrap this in foil. Then we're gonna stick it in the cooler just a little while. Let mm -hmm. that set for about an hour. It does wonderful yeah. things to it. I'm excited. Oh, I'm, I'm fired up. I really am. Now that doesn't look like a 12 pound turkey, but it is a 12 pound turkey. So we're ready to roll. Yay. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm so excited. Like. Now we've preheated our smoker. It's cold outside, so we've got this on the back porch. So we're going to take some butter and we're going to put, I would say, probably a half a teaspoon of rosemary, half a teaspoon of thyme. I'm going to take some Tella cherry pepper. That's rumored what the Colonel used in Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm going to take some salt, 
just enough to, I'd say, a quarter of a teaspoon of each. Don't forget a little granulated garlic in there as well. And we're going to cover the breast of this turkey with the butter and those spices. Oh, man. I've already got <laughs> images of this guy in a couple hours. Now we have our cherry soaking. We're going to use cherry wood. I'm going to soak those just a little bit. I like to go about 250. Now at 250 degrees, you're talking 30 minutes per pound. If you're going to put a probe in, you can go into the breast or the deepest part of the thigh. You need to get to 165. That's where you know you're good. Mm -hmm. 